my wait hold on is my microphone working uh, no i forgot my computer's screwy sometimes and i need to restart it and then i need it because i have my discord hooked up to voice mod so let, let, wait let's see if it's working all right do i sound stupid well what the yeah you do This is the fastest stream start I've had in a while. I've had two guys follow me. I need to brush my hair. I wasn't actually expecting anybody to join the call. Oh, no. I, I had nothing to do today. So I was just like, yeah, sure. I'll join. I'll, I'll watch uh, Game Awards. Are you streaming right now? Yes, I am. All right. No, I just, I didn't get the, uh, the announcement. Here it is. Ah, it, it might take a minute. Yeah, it just announced. I need to turn off there. I had to turn off the audio because the Twitch is at delay. Oh yeah. I like this background. Dang souls. I need to I need to play Dark Souls one again. Don't you have it on Switch? I thought you had the remaster. I, have, I do, I do have it on Switch. I just haven't touched it in a while. Like you, I... you know how you being a gamer should know the feeling that you play a game for so long, you log like over five hundred hours on it and then you get tired of it. Uh, me at Overwatch, lol. Mm -hmm. I bought Overwatch for PC, but my computer was like so jank at the time, I'd never got around to it. And oh, it's it's not worth Overwatch, it. And Overwatch died off. Yeah. <laughs> like, cool. Yeah, see if oh, I can well. change some stuff here. Because everything's coming out pretty quiet. Input, output. Well, talk for me real quick. I am talking. Hello, yes. That should be it. I shouldn't be coming through too loud, so. Now, why are we playing Omari if uh, Cyberpunk gets nominated for Because there's no, there is no shot in hell Cyberpunk gets nominated. If it does. Then why did, wait, then why did you mention it? Because, because if it does. You had okay. to have some reason I'm for gonna, mentioning it. Uh, I have to pull up another tab, so the okay, music okay. tab doesn't, um do dumb stuff. Uh, I also have to close blue stacks, lol. Oh. Uh, da -da -da -da. Should still be displaying, yep. Yeah. Cool. What are you watching this on IGN? Uh, no, I'm gonna be watching it on YouTube. Um, uh, no, which channel? There are a couple different guys streaming it. Ooh, I didn't realize. Are people already streaming it? Oh, yeah. I thought it was, uh, they might be doing, like, pre-stuff, because I know it actually starts They're, they're doing pre-stuff, but, okay. like, you know. Uh, Game Awards nominees. Okay. Well, if they're doing pre-stuff, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, oh, yeah, no. Because I was planning on doing a little bit of setup and stuff. We do Game Awards. Absolutely. Can I see? Um, for Game of the Year, we got Deathloop, It Takes Two, Metroid Dread, Psycho 2, Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, and RE Village. All of them have a really good shot, honestly. Uh, the only thing I can't really say has like the best potential is probably Deathloop, because of its shitty start. Um. Ah, uh, where is it? Life is Strange is being nominated, and I can't imagine why. Uh, it takes two. Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, for best score and music nominees is Cy has Cyberpunk in it, and then. Well, look at that. Take it nominated. And then also, it is. It, I think it's in best RPGs as well. So. This is mine. Um. So there's two. There's two places. And like. If it wins any of those, I'm hand. I, I will be playing the entirety of Omori. <laughs> just because there's no shot. There can't be. There just cannot be a chance in there. Game of the Year. Thank you. No games are coming. What am I playing? Can you just pop up? Oh, I don't want to play in the background. Oh, 
I know. I don't know. Like, I'll play uh, Pokemon games in the background to wall. Yeah, if Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl get nominated for anything, then oh, it's not even on the needs. list. They're not even on the list. Good. And that's sad. Unless, like, it's, unless it's somebody not. nominates a category, or unless somebody brings up a category for uh, worst Pokemon remix, then they can. Yeah, I, I heard a lot of the bugs. I mean, I, personally, I don't think it's too, too it's bad. It's not even to that work. they're buggy, they're just bad remakes. They reskinned Diamond and Pearl and threw in a larger underground. That, yeah. Like, that's all it is. I don't, I don't think they're too bad, but the same point is, is they're definitely not the best. I don't think that... No. Well, okay. So... Hold up as Pokemon games, just like, yeah, these are definitely Pokemon games. They are they Pokemon. Are, <laughs> they're probably the lowest quality Pokemon games I've seen thus far. And that that that's saying something, because we have the likes of uh, Let's Go Pikachu Eevee. Or actually, I, I, I personally, like, Sword and Shield are pretty good, in my opinion. Like, I actually really, really did enjoy Sword and Shield. Oh yeah, no, I like them. But the, the biggest I gripe that a... everybody has with them is that they don't have the Netflix. Yeah, they're not as like open and stuff like that. So I I perfectly understand why people don't like them. But like when it came to Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu, it's like, oh cool, we're finally getting like an official like red, green, and blue remake, and then it's just Pokemon Go with gym battles. I did it... not. Ugh. No, it, it was supposed to, like, bring over a lot of the uh, people who primarily play Pokemon Go to the more mainstream Pokemon. It was oh, supposed yeah. to... It, that's what it was supposed to do, but for everybody who's just stuck with the mainstream for so long, like you, me, and everybody else, uh, they were just garbage incarnate. Yeah. Like, I know you were supposed to be able to port Pokemon in and out, but... Mm, uh, uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's whatever. At least they, with, with those two games, I don't like them, and I will continuously hate on them. But at least with them, they introduced a couple new mechanics. With Pokemon uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, they introduced no. New they literally mechanics just. Other than, they literally they just, just reskin the, the game. Yeah, there were reskins the game, punch. and I can't get behind like a, just a reskin, like. I think, if I'm correct, though, Brilliant Diamond and whatever Pearl were third party? They got third- they were third party, I feel. What do you mean by third Um, I mean, like, made- um... They were not made by Game Freak. Yeah, That's they weren't made by Game Freak. They were- This is true. Developer ILCA? Who they were made by? Japanese studio. Well, yeah, I know that. Uh, Idol Master. <laughs> Hold on, do they only have four games to their name? Can I see the game? Uh, support studio. It's worked on all sorts of games. Uh, project is assisted. Uh, Yakuza 0, Dragon Quest 11, Near Automata, great game. <laughs> Naruto Shippuden, Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, and recently Ace oh. Combat 7. Um, I, I want like an actual, like, list for this. Everything I'm getting is like, oh, they're, they're, they're making the thing, and it's like, okay, I get that. Like they made Brilliant Diamond and all that, but I wanna see I wanna see games. Uh I love computer Hold on. Yes, give me this one. There's n I can't I'm not able to find much, which is iffy, so I don't really care. The next game RCS yeah, looks games good. Or yeah. Arceus looks very good. Uh, fingers and toes are crossed that it holds up. Yeah, it looks uh, really I, fun. After, after this, after Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, my expectations are not very high. Tempered but, at best. 
Uh, but they are competing next year with another open world game that's coming out. Oh? Elden Ring. Elden... All right. I've already seen some people getting huffy about how the Souls game genre will probably be screwed by Elden Ring. What? And I'm going to be real? No. no. The reason yeah. I say, like, nah, there's not, like, a high chance... I'm going to turn that down, okay? Um, the reason I say that there's not a high chance of that is because just overall, there's no chance that... Oh, well, far again, or, um, the open world, like, detracts from the world and, like, seriously harms how it can feel. And I, a sh like, I don't feel like people understand why some people don't like Dark Souls 1, because if it's quote, quote, open design funneling you into, like, Quellag and the Gargoyles and whatever. Like, you can go and defeat Pinwheel within the first hour of the game if you know what you're doing. I've done it before. First 30 minutes. Yeah. Like, I've done it before because I'll you just do the Crypt hour, Skip. First 30 minutes. <laughs> you do Crypt Skip and you got him. Like... Yeah. And, look, it's... Take that... And besides, if you manage to remain... If you manage to, like, not die, you just get a free summon that, like basically two shots hit yeah like easy you, boss gets easier clear dark souls despite being shown as a non-linear game is pretty linear like all things considered it is a dark very Soul, uh, yeah. it's it's not straightforward um, but it does have yeah, no, multiple no. routes into one area which yeah, is what no, everything that, praises that's how that's how i imagine or that's how i look at like dark souls one is like it has um, like the beginning area, the end area, and then every in, everything in between, and that everything in between, it, I I see it as like two big bubbles with one connecting tube. It, it's yeah. like everything that you can do at the start, and Orlando, and then everything you can you do, do at the end. end. And win. Yeah, uh, people like, like I am one of the few I feel defenders of like Dark Souls two. Because I've put 300 hours into that game. Like, legitimately, I have. I had a save file on oh, yeah. PS3 with 500 hours on it. And oh, look at you, Mr. PS3. Dude, that thing's dead in the water, lol. I yeah. need to rip, like, the BIOS off of my PS2. No, I, I bought Dark Souls 2 for my uh, PS4 a little while ago. And it wasn't a great idea going straight from playing DS3 to DS2. Because I was oh, like, oh my goodness, no. this game is so slow. No, I was it's not. Slow. Um, but no, it's just in comparison. It is. Uh, I was just getting impatient. Yeah, Dark Souls Two is a weird middle uh, ground between what people like wanted from Dark Souls when like, oh, like it's super hard to get into. So Dark Souls Two is kind of easy, and then the second you start to get into the, like the latter half of the game, it's insanely difficult. Like. Some and then they pushed out Scholar. <sighs> Scholar is... That's the divisive. version I bought. Because that's Dis the only version they were selling. Divisive at best. But I'm fine with Scholar. I think, I think it does enough to change the game formula and make it feel better. Um, the 60 FPS thing is really cool. And all of that, like, the their monster replacements. I mean, after playing Dark Souls 2 for, like, 300 goddamn no, hours, Souls going back is into no, it... It's in no manner of speaking, it's in no respect a bad game. It is just, by default, in comparison to the rest of the Souls series... Very works. lackluster. Like, probably Bloodborne would be my favorite Souls game. Bloodborne, DS1... Uh... I didn't play a lot of Sekiro, so I can't say anything about that. And then three and I, two, like for. I, I also have Sekiro. I haven't played to completion, but I have played it. I have logged a couple, quite a few hours into it, I've... and this is what I will say about it. I like, I love the level design and the boss design. However, I do not like the enemy design or how they. Um... The stamina management stuff. No, no, no! It's not even. Uh, well, there's no stamina in Sekiro. Well, no, no. But, I mean, um, like the um, the the the. What is it? The the bar. Buster. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's not even that. Um. Enemy. My phone went off. Well. Oh. 
my uh, enemies in Sekiro are bad. I'm just gonna say that they're bad. They like how enemy placement and how enemy design, uh, and how they are placed throughout different Dark Souls levels has always been the same in that it prepares you well enough for how the game works and how to face bosses. However, in Sekiro, I feel this is not the case. It doesn't uh, prepare you well enough for how you're supposed to fight the bosses because you can just kind of R1 spam them to death, whereas with bosses, you can't do that. Yeah, I think the biggest example of that for me was, you know how you have to get like the dream thing just so you can fight the giant with the flame weapon art or whatever? Yes. Um, my experience with the game was slamming my head against that enemy, or that, like, the giant boss, because I didn't understand that you were supposed to go and do, like, half of that area, and then back out. I thought I grabbed mm. something for late or mid-game, because that's what I was used to, like, with Dark Souls 2 and all the DLC stuff. Or even Bloodborne, because, like, you go, you play it, and if you have the old hunter, you kill Vicar, and then you get the item for the DLC. The problem is, is the DLC is wildly more difficult than endgame content. So, my idea of when I was playing Sekiro after, like, obviously all the time I put in Bloodborne is, hey, this is a late game thing. I'm not going to be able to touch it. So I just tried to brute force it, and I obviously scummed it. I think I dropped him off the cliff and then just repeatedly jumped down it. <laughs> but that's how I beat it. I ruined the game experience for myself because of other Souls games. Uh, no, uh, that's, you know, I never realized this until uh, talking just now, but I guess, yeah, that's another grip I kind of have with Sekiro. Like, within a lot of Dark Souls games, and then especially Bloodborne, there's a lot of backtracking. But with Sekiro, that that backtracking, just the amount was, like, doubled. Yeah. I mean... Like, there's so much stuff that you have to remember. And then, it, don't and don't even get me started on how much stuff you gotta remember for, like, if you want to get the right ending. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, I feel like Sekiro is a really weird love letter to Neo, and I know this is blasphemy, but, like, very much so in the fact that well, uh, what, Neo and... I keep opening this Firefox tab. I need to keep one open. Uh, Neo... I forgot Neo 2 came out. you completely crashing your computer with Chrome. I am using Mozilla. And uh, then Sekiro. Oh, okay. It's like two years apart. Well, might be. Um, but it's... Uh, God... It's just wonky. Because, like, it feels like it could be, like, Neo in some sense. And then it's like, oh, but it's also still a Souls game. Look at these new mechanics we added. And just sometimes it just doesn't feel good. It just... I remember... I'm not a huge fan of Sekiro. I, I like it, but it definitely has its target audience. I mean... In Dark Souls, I was a really big guy on parrying, but Sekiro having it in the forefront feels a lot more difficult. Because building the system around it, when in other games it was like... Uh, for in fucking um, Bloodborne, like, the system wasn't built around it. It was, oh, you have your offhand and you have your main hand, your main thing's dodging if you need to shoot and get the parry off granted i got really good at the system but just like having it as an alternative to your standard gameplay is what made parrying really special and having it be the only option and only some enemies have like parryable attacks and others um i think one of the better examples is the guys with the spears where you have to do the other parry where you stab that spear into that, the ground. That's another thing I hate about Sekiro is because when I'm playing any video game, take now for example, I, I always play video game with the set with the game sound off so that I can have something else running in the background. Yeah. With Sekiro, I can't do that. I have to play with the sound on, otherwise I can't hear these. What are they called? The Perilous specific acts. 
Yeah, the like specific sound you need. And I'm like, fuck off. Like, ah. Uh, it's it, it's a good game, but definitely not my kind of game. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna finish it. I need if I think I'm gonna need to set like a month's time aside so that I can make put an effort into finishing. Some people are saying Metroid Dread is really good. Like, I any Metroid games. I I played Metroid Two, not the original one, the other one for the NES. And you know what? Hell yeah, dude! I am yeah. very happy that it is even on this list because <laughs> it is great. It is like. I <laughs> I remember seeing something about the Oh, who was it? The guy that directed or like made God of War was complaining about the fact the game has secrets and like kind of like revels in its old um NES days. And people literally looked and told him that within the first minute of the game, it tells you that stuff like that is going to happen and that you should just know because it was very, very clear. And in the screenshot that he used as an example, you can clearly see the area above him just completely open and baiting you to shoot the ceiling. I remember seeing that and just laughing. <laughs> can I? Mm. No, I don't think I can. Alright, that is. Alright, I'm not playing any more BDSM. I mean, BDSP. <laughs> um. I'm going to look at my magic cards. Best multiplayer nominees. I don't know why my. Is Monster Hunter Rise a different game? Then. Then the world. I think so. It is. Oh. Dude, I thought Rise was an add on. My bad. Lord, no. Um. Final Fantasy 14. Wait, what did I talk. Okay. Uh, I apologize. I said I had never heard of any of the games when you listed off the Game of the Year nominees. I don't know. I've heard of all, most. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV's um, Endwalker expansion came out. So for best ongoing, that is very, very tight. Ongoing nominees. I'm going to keep this tab and I'm Maybe going to shuffle. You said IGN is streaming it? Yeah, IGN is streaming it on YouTube. Oh, I honestly want Ari Village to win. I like Ari Village. It is very good. I hope it does. Should be... Oh wait, are they already doing it? Are they already going? Uh, well, the, um... Oh, no, okay. I thought, I I saw something that made me think it, thought it was going. Okay, I still got, we still got three minutes. Yeah, I know. I was like, they better not be going. Because <laughs> if I was missing some of that... <laughs> Salty. What, uh... Flair said it's hashtag here, right? For like everybody and that is logged on here. Just instead of at everyone. For what? When at oh, it's at here. Yeah, just at everyone. No, 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 because there's people that don't use the server lol. But yeah, if uh, if if, Cy if uh, Cyberpunk wins any awards, 
I guess I gotta play a Mori. I'm playing a little Why Mori. Why Mori? Are you trying to say that you're gonna be depressed if they win anything? Probably. Okay. Fair enough. Um, as far as I know, I guess they're doing a trailer right now for, like, another, like, kind of cell shaded game. Which, that's cool. Uh, I'm not... I I'm closing chat because somebody's gonna say something racist. What do you mean you're closing chat? Uh, Planet of Lana. Out now, lol. Hey, we got people talking on, on the thing. Let's go. Uh, let's shuffle this over. Hold on. I can edit this because this is different. Uh, game Awards. Let's go! Okay, never mind. Hold on. Going back to the previous screen. Wait, what? Oh, no! It's the Persona time. Hold on. Here you go. You got it up. This is important. Ever wonder what happened after There's no way! Now you can check out Persona 4 Arena Ultimax.